Or is it better here? I don't know. Is this better? Or in, in, in what world will that be nicer? No, this is backlit. No, it's fine, right? It's fine right here. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Debe. I make lifestyle content. I'm just vlogging my life around health and wellness and work-life balance. So if that's your vibe, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back, sis. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, guys, I will be showing you a huge, massive Shein haul that I got. So the vibes are definitely vacation. As you can see, I'm in Dubai currently, so that's where I'm filming this from. So it was very much um, resort wear, but I wanted to make sure that I also get minimalistic and simplistic items that can form a capsule wardrobe that you can mix and match and continue to wear in your everyday life. So first things first, let me answer some FAQs about ordering on Shein. So I live in Eswatini and they do ship straight to Eswatini. The only thing you need to watch out for, of course, is the courier fees as well as uh, customs at the border. So courier fees, if you buy above a certain amount on Shein, you do qualify for um, express shipping and by that they use DHL. So DHL will charge you an amount I think if I want to calculate very quickly the DHL amount. So a ballpark figure for the courier fees is about 18% of your order. And then the customs. So customs is basically the tax, the import duties that you have to pay um, when your goods clear the border. And those ranged, those were about 30% of my order. So overall taxes is giving up to half of your order amount so please do bear that in mind in the past Shein used to reimburse you 50 percent of any courier and customs fees but unfortunately they don't do that anymore so i did by and large quit buying Shein because about like a year ago like i started getting all my stuff on Shein because it was just so reasonable but since that um change i have kind of cooled off a bit but it's vacation time i figured it was worth it because it would have spent i would have spent like the same amount of money like going into sa and shopping what with like accommodation and driving and everything so it was pretty much commensurate so that's the one thing that you want to bear in mind the second thing is in terms of just even using Shein have a strategy guys like i know you guys know Shein, right and you know how you can be like in, in a death scroll like just scrolling for ages not even knowing what to buy so the first thing is have a strategy just know what it is that you're looking for and just stick to those items guys um i would kind of approach it with um just going straight like searching straight the type of items that i wanted so i knew I wanted a pair of parachute pants, for example, parachute cargo pants. I wanted a crochet dress. Cause I'd already set what I wanted to get up to and the looks that would be required. So I just searched for that and I liked all the options that I had. So my wish list is kind of crazy. And then I kind of put it into cart what I like and then edit further in the cart before checkout, obviously. So that's pretty much my process of buying in Shein. Third thing is that usually when you're um, kind of shopping within Shein, there's more than one options for the same thing. So if you uh, look up, for example, white t-shirt, there would be many kinds of white t-shirt. And sometimes you could find the same white t-shirt, but seemingly coming from two suppliers. Now, obviously, I think like the quality would differ between um, suppliers. So what you're going to want to do is read reviews. That I think is my number one tip on Shein. Read reviews, read reviews, read reviews, guys. Um, and then see what people are saying about it because that's where you will see whether the fabric is even worth buying because people will be like, the fabric is trash. It doesn't look like what it is in the photo. Or you'll find other people being like, oh, it runs a little small. And by then you kind of know what to expect as well as like what these items look like. Cause some people will take photos and like review. I think also if you post reviews on Shein, you do earn points that can give you like cash back on your order. So I'll have to actually jump on that. I haven't tried it myself as of yet, only because like reviews are kind of like a lot of work. So I haven't had time just to do that. 
but like if you kind of want to like gain points and kind of like uh, gain benefits down the line if you're buying online just review yeah i think i'm gonna get into that when i have the time uh the next thing i want to say is measure yourself like do take the measurements and do look at the size guide that also guides you um, and then for example size guide plus the reviews will then give you an idea of what this item will look like when you have it because size guide will say okay your size is m but when you look at the review someone will be like oh it stretches a lot or oh it runs big and by that you know that actually you kind of want to size down um, even though your size measurements are saying medium you kind of want to get a small so that's kind of like how i navigate shien uh, just in terms of the choice paralyzation like uh, two the sizing and three the quality I think those are the big three items um, that are usually a challenge when it comes to buying on Shein so I think that's all of our admin let's get into the fun stuff let me show you guys these items we'll start with accessories First is um, the sunglasses, they come in a case and they are some orange aviators. How cute, how cute are these you guys? Look, oh, so cute. Got those, grateful for the case that they come with. Um, they also come with the little cleaner in there. And then I got a three pack of sunglasses um, so here they are and then they come in this like nude brown uh, just a classic tortoise shell brown as well as a classic black uh, so let me show you guys these ones that I was wearing with this outfit absolutely incredible so cute uh, but let me show you guys the other ones as well. For earrings, I got some pretty festive, um, you know, tropical type of earrings. Hold on. So I got these gold flower. And what I'm realizing just now, because I just kind of threw everything into the case to shoot, but I'm realizing that I got two of the same, so we can have a giveaway! Um, yeah, let's do a giveaway, you guys. If you are Eswatini based between um, Manzini and Baban would be where the pickup is. Um, you have to be following me on Instagram and TikTok and send me a DM on either one of those. Um, telling me your favorite thing about my content or what you'd like to see um, you must be subscribed as well to my YouTube I think that goes without saying thank you so much and yeah if you like this video in general just like post a comment below and then I think I'll just randomly pick someone um, that I can meet to give them the second pair of earrings so that's that and then Here's the third part. So these are like feathery. Um, I think let me, these ones are not that clear. So let me just take them out of the packet to show you guys properly. Oh, how cute. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then just like a body chain because a vacation is not a vacation without a body chain. So I'll show you guys this when i finally wear it oh and then i wore these earrings yesterday these are the bottega dupes absolutely incredible like a must have i would say because they're kind of minimal yet they give that like pop you know so i wore these yesterday and yeah they are everything that the girlies are saying that they are they do the things bags Ooh. Ooh. how cute this clutch gold clutch 
and it's hella spacious inside so what i did when i packed was that i just packed all the accessories in here so that's how spacious it is and then i got a black like chanel-esque type style it is a bit on the flimsy side and of course the leather is not real leather but i think it passes and then you could also just like double it up and like have it as like a shorter bag so i thought that was like a good basic that i just didn't have in my wardrobe before i think it would be good to have great so let's try on some stuff so on the first day i wore this single shoulder black top with this leopard uh, cover-up skirt now the one shoulder top was perfect because my bikini was one shoulder underneath as well and the cover-up skirt was a bit sheer so i just put some shorts under it to be a bit more modest and public but otherwise this was perfect for the rooftop pool that i was heading to 10 out of 10. Next are my pyjamas, they were by this brand called Lovelet and extremely high quality guys. I love that they had pockets and the fabric was just incredibly comfy. Like the type of fabric that keeps you cool when it's uh, warm and like warm or when it's cool. You know that kind of vibe? I absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 as well guys. Got some cute loungewear as well, this black and white striped knit two-piece set. Super cute and comfy to lounge in, but as you can see, you can split up the items and mix and match and wear them with other things like I did here. On the left side, paired with my bag, and on the right side, I wore the shorts with my bodysuit. Loved it. One of the excursions I did was a desert tour and I wore these parachute pants, these kind of like beige creamy color and very lightweight and airy fabric. Absolutely perfect for the summer, you guys. I wore a different top, but here you see this bodysuit. It's giving skims dupe, as the girlies say in the review comments on that piece. But just watch how it elevates with the summer trench. This summer trench is a must have, you guys. The slides, it's airy, but it's nice to kind of have something on your shoulders when it gets breezy. Hitting up a beach club, so I wore this crochet cover up dress. It goes pretty low on the sides and it's got a slit on the other side. So pretty cute, sexy, paired it with the earrings that I showed earlier. Loved it. Another pair of PJs. How stinking cute, you guys. Loved this pair. Got this backless dress with slits on either side in this creamy beige color. Absolutely beautiful and perfect for a beach club. But here I was just headed to the bar to do some editing and yeah, super comfy. Had quite a few swimsuits so I only got one as a part of this haul and I liked it. However, there were a bit too many strings for my liking. So I ended up actually cutting off a few later on. But I paired them with this white pair of linen pants, an absolute staple for the summer, as well as this white cover-up shirt. A bit on the sheer side, so it's perfect for the beach. Now, this was a perfect match color-wise. However, mm, I wasn't really feeling it, so I went for this crochet cover-up top instead. Now, this was a bit of a 7 out of 10, if I'm honest, because I could have stood to size up a little bit. But... It fit, it was cute, I liked it, but chose to style it up a bit just to have it go with the look and that is what I landed up with for the beach club. I think this was for sure my favorite look. I was headed out to dinner, wore this green two-piece set with a slit um, down front, paired it with the gold clutch and the earrings and gorge. Next up was something a little fun. I'm probably not going to be wearing this anywhere else, but it's this multicolor tasseled skirt that I paired with the white cover-up shirt from earlier. And that was just a fun look that I wanted. Purely resort wear. And that is all for what I wore in Dubai from Shein. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in the next one.